This is a video about series resistance and voltage dividers. What is series resistance? Well, it's just the resistance of individual resistances in series or end to end. So if you have two resistors, R1 and R2, each a thousand ohms, the series resistance is the total of the resistances added up. So if you wanted to find out the total resistance of this circuit here, R1 plus R2, R1 and R2, you would just add them together, R1 plus R2. And that gives you your total resistance, which in this case, for this example, would be 2,000 ohms. What is a voltage divider? A voltage divider is takes advantage of the fact that through a circuit, when you have multiple resistances and a given amount of current flowing through the circuit, that all the voltages of the individual resistors will add up to the total voltage, the source voltage. That's what a voltage divider is. So if you have 9 volts going through this circuit and this particular one divides the voltage in two, if each of these resistors has 4.5 volts across it, then the total of these equals 9 volts. But if you split it equally in two, then you have 4.5 volts across each one. Here's some formulas that uh, formula that uh, dictate this. Uh, first, for your series resistance, you have your total is going to be R1 plus R2 plus however many resistors you have in the circuit. Your um, the um, voltage across any individual resistor is going to be that resistance value divided by the total resistance, which we found here. So for this example, we have VR1. Your total resistance is 2,000 ohms. If you take the 1,000 and you divide it by your R total 2,000, that would give you 0.5. Your VS, which is your source voltage, is multiplied by that to give you your voltage across that resistor. So in this case, we just simply have R1, VR1 is equal to R1 divided by R total times Vs, which is going to be 1000 divided by 2000 times 9 volts. This is 1 half times 9 volts equals 4.5 volts. So this is a value that we should read across this resistor here. So let's go ahead and we've got a couple of resistors here. We've got each of them are 1000 ohms multimeter here. So let's go ahead and measure that total resistance to confirm and we've got, well, just about 2,000 ohms, which is what we expect. Now let's go ahead and put that 9 volts, put this on voltage, let's put that 9 volts across this. So we have this circuit right here. So let's just make sure we've got 9 volts across the two resistors. This is DC, 9 volts DC. Okay. Make sure that's what we've got. Exactly 9 volts. Okay. So what is our voltage across this resistor, VR1? That would be this resistor right here. And what we should get is we've got 4 point, basically 4.5 volts. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Let's try this case right here. We got uh, two resistors in series. We got a thousand and a five hundred. Let's take this five, this thousand out, put in a five hundred ohm. Okay. Now we got that circuit right there. Let's confirm our resistance, which is this one plus this one. Exactly 1500 ohms, so it doesn't get much better than that. 
All right, let's go ahead and put that nine volts across it. All right, now we can easily calculate this VR2 right here. VR total, we know that, it's 1500. Ohms. VR2, just like above, is equal to gonna be the value of R2, which is 500. We're gonna divide that by R total, which we know now to be 1500, times Vs, which is your nine volts. And this 500 divided by 1500 is one third. One third of nine volts is equal three volts. Okay, that was really simple. All right, let's go ahead and measure that. Actually, I forgot to measure the, um, calculate the current here, but we'll go ahead and do the current for this one. So we should have three volts across this resistor right here. Let's go ahead and put this on voltage. Three point zero zero three volts. Okay, so that's what we expected. All right, so why would you calculate the current through this circuit? Here, we'll just omit this one because we already skipped over that. So the current is just, these are your Ohm's law formulas over here. Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. You've got nine volts and you've got 1500 volts. So your I is equal to nine divided by 1500 and that should give you 0 0.006 amps or six milliamps. Why is that important? Well, for one thing, um, let's look at these rules here. Current is the same through the entire circuit. So I is equal in this case to six milliamps. Okay, that goes through the entire circuit. It goes through here, all the way through here, all the way back up to this source here. All right, and what you can do with that is you can cross check your answer. So we've got, we've calculated here that VR2 is three volts, okay? Well, also voltage is equal to current times resistance. We know we have a 0 0.006 amps and we know our resistance here. So we also, if we wanted to find a different way to calculate the voltage across this resistor, we would just go voltage R, VR2 is equal to current times resistance is equal to 0 0.006 times 500, which comes out to three volts. So that's the way we can cross check that. Okay, let's do another one here. The last one is three resistors in series. And it's simply gonna be three 1000 ohm resistors in series. Let's just go ahead and do that. There's one. I'm just gonna put them in random places on this protoboard here, on this breadboard that is. All right, that's two. And this is the third one. Okay. Three 1K resistors in series. Let's go ahead and check that resistance. R total is going to be R1 plus R2 plus Rn, or R, R3 in this case. It's going to be 1,000 times 3. 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 is going to be 3,000 ohms. That's our calculated total. Our measured total is 2,995 ohms. Okay, so one of these resistors is very very slightly off it's actually pretty good for these uh resistors okay so in order to find this voltage right here i'm just calling it vx uh well so there's there's several ways you can do this but the easiest really one of the easiest is um these are the same value so just calculate you can say calculate vr2 is equal to 1000 divided by the total total is three thousand times the nine volts, your VS, nine volts. This is one third. So that's three volts for this one. This is three volts. And this is the same value. So you're gonna get the same three volts here, three volts. So total 
voltages here is going to be 6 volts because all these voltages add up to the total. So that's 6 volts. Notice that that's also 1,000, so that's also going to be 3 volts. And notice that per this rule here, voltages add up to the source, the total, the, the voltage source, um, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So this one is going to be 6 volts. Let's calculate the current through this circuit so we can cross-check our answer. Current is simply going to be 9 volts. Basically, it's going to be your V over your R. It's going to be your 9 volts divided by 3,000 ohms. This is going to be 0 0.003 amps or 3 milliamps. All right, so another way to calculate the voltage across this pair here, this point to this point right here, you got 2,000 ohms there. V is equal to, according to Ohm's law, I times R, 3 milliamps or 0 0.003 amps times 2,000 ohms. And that comes out to 6 volts. So we should get 6 volts right there. Again, this is all DC voltage here. Let's go ahead and put that in the then view. All right, so go ahead and measure that here to here. Why don't we hook up the voltage source to it? It might actually help. Okay. All right, so. 5.99 volts, 991, so really, really close to 6 volts. So that's what we should get right there. And uh, so anyway, that's a little uh, video on series resistance and uh, voltage dividers. I uh, hope that has been um, informative and helpful. So here's a problem for you. Consider this schematic right here in this circuit of three resistors in series, 1,000 ohms, 500 ohms, and a thousand ohms. What is the total resistance of this circuit? Simply R total is it going to be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Series, series resistance is simple. If you add them all together, that gives you an R total of 2,500 ohms. Okay, so part B. What is the circuit current? Circuit current, if you refer to the Ohm's Law Triangle, you want to find current, cover this up, you've got voltage divided by resistance, our voltage source is 10 volts, I is going to be 10 volts divided by 2500 ohms. or 0 0.004 amps, which is 4 milliamps or 4 one thousandths of an amp. Part C, what is the voltage across R2? Okay, so this is where you need to invoke the voltage divider equation, which is very simple. VR2 is equal to the voltage source times R2 divided by R total, which gives you 10 times 500 divided by 2500, which is our R total that we found up here, which is 10 times 0.2 or two volts. So the voltage across this resistor is two volts. And that leaves eight volts left over between these two resistors here, which if you look at them, they're the same value. So you can assume that that's gonna be four volts there. This is gonna be four volts there. And they all add up to the, to the source voltage. Okay, so what is actually another way to find this voltage across R2, besides invoking the voltage divider equation. 
Well, you just could you could just use Ohm's law and take the voltage or, or take the current that we found, which is 0 0.004 amps, and then you divide that by the resistance. So the voltage across this resistor will be the current passing through this resistor, and the current that we found, the total current, the I, goes all the way through the circuit. So it's going to go through all these resistors. It's going to be the same all the way through these resistors. It's going to be 0 0.004 amps. So you've got 0 0.004 amps going through a 500 ohm resistor. Voltage is equal to I times R. I times R. V is equal to I current, which is 0 0.004. times 500. 500 times 0 0.004 is equal to 2 volts. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more detailed information on this project, as well as recommended breadboarding equipment, best practices, and safety tips. Please go to breadboardcircuits.com. Thank you.